Hello everybody, I truly hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we have seen the local range on Bitcoin break to the downside. I'm going to be covering what this means next for Bitcoin over the coming week and weekend ahead and how I am currently trading this. It is in a short position, but I'm going to be explaining some of the levels that we're looking for next, what we are currently finding support at and the reasons why of this and really going to be I'm just going to be sharing a lot of information with you so you can really start to understand my thought processes live in the time as I'm taking them. I truly believe you're going to learn a lot from this video. All you need to do is pay full attention, block out the distractions, focus on what I'm saying, focus on the levels, and let's get ready to make some absolutely crazy trades together. So without further said ado, let's pick up right where we left off yesterday's technical analysis video. And that was while we were still inside the range, right? I was saying trade this range until it breaks. We currently have a very well-respected range with our range high and our range low. During that during that video, we started to bounce off the value area low, if you remember correctly. We were bouncing off that value area low. In the end, this bounce made its way up to the point of control later on. And then actually we had one from my, myself. This is obviously what I posted inside of my, my champions group. But I had one key resistance within that range, which was 20,200. And the, the key level to the downside was 19,500. Okay, obviously we can see if you look at 19,500. That's exactly where we're bouncing off at the moment. And the level that we rejected from yesterday being 20,200 was the local resistance of the range. In the end, where did we reject from? It was on this wick here, 20,200. So like I was saying to my team, okay, you know, we, we hit that local resistance, which was 20,200, and we've rejected. And we had that one level of resistance this morning locally. It was hit, we rejected, and then we got the reversal, right? Well, there's a few things that I also want to bring your attention to. We were also starting to form a triangle on Bitcoin, right? So we were forming the low, high, low, high, low. This is constricting price action and we're getting ready for the breakout. Okay, so this is another factor that we were aware of. The triangle that started to form within the range. The targets, if we break to the upside, was 21,150. If we break to the downside, it's 19,150. Of course, this triangle has now broken to the downside. So the target is $19,150. I currently am in a short position. A uh, few, uh, One other thing that I want to bring your attention to of why we broke to the downside. And it was the massive bearish divergences that we started to form. So this is the um, price action from within the range, within the triangle. And then as we started to even move down, just, just look at this really massive bearish divergences. They're just getting bigger and bigger and bigger the more we move down to the low of the triangle. So we start to get really big bearish divergences. You can even see here like lots of new longs opening up. And then what came next? It came the plunge to the downside. One final move up above 20k before yeah the big 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 move down there. Um, so yeah that was another heads up factor that we had within the chart. So let me just explain this one more time so you can fully understand my thought process. We have first of all had the range which we were trading in until it breaks. Within that range, we had one key level of resistance, which was 20,200. Throughout the day, we actually moved up to test 20,200 resistance. We tested it, we rejected from it. From that one level of resistance, we obviously formed then a reversal. That was the high of the day. We formed the reversal. Within that reversal, we started to form a triangle. Okay. From that triangle, we then started to form really massive bearish CVD divergences. And then from that, we saw our final break to the downside. No swing failure pattern of the low, no failed auction, just a clean break down. This for me then activates the triangle target to the downside, which is 19,150. I also said to my team, if you have any questions about my targets or my charts, of course, I'm always very, very happy to help you. And I will answer every single question that you give me about my charts over in my Daniel's question channel. So you can see here for your information, this is a place that you can come in. If you have any queries, if you have any questions about my charts or my charts, <laughs> my charts or my trades or my targets, you can of course come in here and I'm answering every single question that you can have. I'm answering them. So um, yeah, I think this is a really good thing to be aware of. A new feature that we've added, of course, all the coaches now have their trading channel, which is our read only channel where we're posting our ideas and charts. And then we have the questions channel where if you have any, um, you know, questions about our charts and this is obviously where you can ask your question and you'll get every question answered about our charts so 
And that's just something to make you aware of as well. But yeah, moving on now, I told you I'll, I'll make you aware of why did I give then this 19500 as our local support? Well, let me just show you this really clearly. So when we pull our Fibonacci now from the low, the last major low that was made, of course, from the top of our D pivot, from that low, we then move it up to the high. And we can see we've come into the CC, right? So we've come into the CC here around 19500. So this is, of course, our local support. We don't really want to be shorting support, but this is our local support. You also had a HVN here. So we've got a bit of volume and we've got the CC itself. So this would be our local support. Biggest support to the downside is obviously this daily with the 19,150 triangle target. So we've got the larger target to the downside. As I mentioned, I'm in a short position. What could I be saying to myself? Okay, I'm short and I believe the higher probability is for lower right now. But as a professional trader, I um, understand and comprehend. I have to have an invalidation. I have to know where probabilities change. Okay, from where can I be bullish to flip my bias to bearish? Or where can I be bearish and flip my bias to bullish? I understand trading is a game of probabilities. There is no 100% certainty in this market. Thus, I need to be aware of when things are starting to change. Trade the charts, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want to get stuck and fixated on a bias. Because what I will always say is it doesn't matter what we say. It doesn't really matter what we predict. At the end of the day, the market's going to go where the market's going to go. So with that in mind, we need to be aware of the game of probabilities and only trade the highest, right? We only want to get the very best trades, okay? And that's how we're pushing towards 80, 90% win rates. Myself, of course, these are very high win rates. But, you know, if you want to be like, you know, even at a 50% win rate where you can be you can be making money, winning only, you know, only 30, 40% of the time. If every win you're winning $5 and every loss you're losing $1, or even with a 30% win rate, you can be making money. Just have to have very good risk management, okay? So it is a game of probabilities. You're not going to win every trade. So that, with that in mind, I'm currently in a short position. I recognize that we're at support right now locally. But until we reclaim resistance as support, I'm going to look down for my lower triangle target okay i have no reason to think that this is not going to hit yet especially when i come over here and look at the stock market and see the stock market with continued weakness the stock market has not quite hit the cc yet okay we can see here the cc has not quite been hit so i do believe there's a little bit more downside here on the stock market of course this could mean that bitcoin does a move such as this okay moves down with the es doesn't quite hit our lower target and starts to get a reversal this is a pattern that I'm aware of that can happen okay for sure uh, and that would mean uh, uh, my overall target not being hit but again I'm I'm open to all, all scenarios here I'm never fixated on one sole scenario I'm always aware of a bullish and a bearish scenario and I truly just trade the charts as they're coming to me the highest probabilities and this is what a professional trader does I know some people might say oh this video is very boring uh, I just want you to tell me exactly what's happening next. Ladies and gentlemen, if you ever see a video from someone saying, this is definitely what's happening next, this is going to happen, we're moving up to this level, you have to understand that they are lying. There's no way in the world anyone can know what's happening next. So as a professional trader that can consistently make money off this market every day, in a market that can be considered random per se, how can a professional come in here, consistently make money? Well, it's because, simple fact, they've got their levels, they know when to trade, they know when not to trade, they've got good risk management, and they're only taking the very best trades. It's as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. For me now, the next very best trade would be a move down towards my overall target, or it would be a retest of our NPOC slash $20,000. Of course, where can I change my bias of expecting lower? Well, I could have one or two scenarios that would say, okay, I no longer think we're going to hit my target. Scenario number one, like I showed, would be some sort of fake out of the lows here. Again, that could just give us another lower high before lower, but that would be one scenario that I'm, I'm aware of right now. And of course, the next one would be a reclaim of around $20,000. That's our previous range POC right now. So a reclaim of that, and I could say, hey, it's unlikely that we're going to go lower. That would be a local sign of strength where we could look back up to $20,530. $20, so right now, I'm in a comfortable position. My shorts are in profit. Um, how did I recognize those short positions? One more time. We had the only level on the chart as resistance. We, in fact, come up and we hit that level absolutely perfectly. We got the rejection. We got the reversal. While we were at the bottom of the triangle, we formed massive bearish CVD divergences and that ended with a clean break to the downside. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how I come in. That's how I analyze the market. 
That's how I'm able to make money on this. If you want to learn from us, come over to chartchampions.com. You've got all the theory you're ever going to need. Every single bit of theory that we use to trade every day. That's all over on the website. We've got our new Atus course out now, which is provided by Igor. There are brand new Atus templates. Atus is a platform where you don't even need TradingView. You don't need ExoCharts. It's Atus. You can chart from Atus. You can trade from Atus. Everything within the platform. We've got brand new templates for that. Brand new educational series for that. And of course, we've got the live trading series now. So if you want the live trading, if you want the education, if you want these heads up before everybody else in the world, that's over for chart champions, for the champions group. If you want the educational material, it's for the contenders. Um, so yeah, that's everything that I wanted to provide you with today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you want to see more from us, you can come over and see it at chartchampions.com. We'll catch you over in the Discord or I'll catch you in the live stream that I do in two days time for the champions. So thank you ever so much. Very nice to see this continued move to the downside. You know what I'm looking for next. See if we can run these lows and hit the lower CC. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed, hope you've understood. And CC Paul, send their regards. I love you all ever so much. I'm very happy. I'm going to end with a smile. I'm just going to say that. Have a brilliant day ahead. Have a brilliant weekend. And I'll end with, of course, no financial advice. This is just an entertainment educational video only. We talk about trade. It's on a paper demo trade account. Thank you. Have a good day and goodbye.